Welcome back to another video. This will be a follow up for the Shape Sculptor Workbench. We're going to take a look at Generate Mesh. So, this is something that uh, works a little bit uh, odd and uh, different. So, let's take a look at Generating Mesh. So, as you can see, we can um, generate a polygonal mesh from curves and select the triangles. So, we can also select meshes. And we see that the generated mesh passes through the selected curves and the vertices. And we can also adjust the point tolerance, curve tolerance, and resolution of the mesh. Now, within the documentation um, available over here, we can see this will be the key study base, VAS, that uh, I also have opened over here. So, as we can see, we can hold down control and select the curves and triangles if necessary. And uh, afterwards, we can just click OK, and that should fill the mesh over there. The main problem is that uh, if I will start with the generate mesh like this, so the function is active, I will see that uh, I cannot select the, the mesh. So this is unavailable for selection. Instead, I can select the curves. For example, one, if I will hold down control all the way to four. I'm going to have a closed loop over here. But um, yeah, let me just select those again. And uh, I increase the tolerance to 0 0.01 for all of those. And now if I will click OK, Katia will just generate that mesh, but it won't take into account the mesh in the back. As you can see, the generated mesh, let me just hide this, will look like this. So it will be pushed inwards for some reason, and I don't know exactly how, uh, how to change that. Let me try again. So for example, I have the base selected. I will hold down control, select all those curves. So I have a closed loop over here. If I will click on generate mesh, again that face will no longer be within the selection so i click apply and this will have the same um, output which is the mesh will be inwards let me just um, try to change this so i will go with paint curve and i will do let's go somewhere over here on the on the neck of this and I want this to be a closed loop. And now, with the way selected, with the curved mesh over here, uh, initially I should also do some uh, geometry clearing over here. Let me select those and have those deleted. So we have a hole over there. Now, I select the mesh, I select the curve, and afterwards I will click on Generate Mesh. And this should fill fill the mesh according um, but as you can see it will just add a mesh over there so quite weird how this works usually I'm not using mesh generation for this if I'm using Katia I would go within digital shape editor over here and uh, we can make use of the fill hole over here so I can select the mesh I can select that and we can have that field so i don't know exactly why dasal decided to create uh, the both uh, fill holes over here within digital shape editor and also that generate mesh within uh, shape sculptor because the functionality of this is quite um, quite weird or maybe i'm not uh, using it properly this is something that uh, I hope that uh, one of my viewers will uh, will tell me in the comment section what exactly I'm doing wrong with Generate Mesh. So let's do the same approach over here. So I will select those, which we see the curve 5 to 8. I will also select the base mesh and now go to Generate Mesh. I will even highly increase this, so I will add another 0. But the tessellation will just be the geometry. I will keep this to 0, 1 so that it won't take a lot to, to process. But as we can see, we still have an inward mesh 
that is not being pulled toward the, um, the base mesh so the filling is not well defined like we saw over there with fill holes previously so let me try that again over here uh, i did some uh, testing and it still didn't work as intended let me just do a hole over here so we have the monkey eye which i will delete i will do a curve drawing over here which will be this one i'm gonna close the loop and now we have the mesh creation of this but it doesn't follow that so we know over here from the selection as you as you recall we could make use of select hole so let's take a look maybe the functionality will be like this so we have the selected hole over there and now with that and the mesh curve selected we're gonna click on generate and this still will just add a plane so it won't properly add the geometry over there if i'm gonna hide everything you're gonna see that we have that plane as well okay so this was generating mesh under shape sculptor i don't know exactly how uh, how to use this according to the documentation so if you know let me know in the comment section below because i'm curious since I usually use the fill within Digital Shape Editor, or more recently I started to use uh, Blender a lot. So if you enjoy this kind of content, I will position a similar video over here on the bottom. I will add the Katia V5 tips and tricks playlist at the top, and I will also add a subscribe button. So that's it. Thanks for watching.